Bonjour chers amis, vous êtes sur BON, la bonne chaîne. Hi fellow viewers, you're watching BON. Welcome to share my daily tricks for learning Chinese. My name is Francis Chige and it's good to have you there today so we can share more tips and tricks about learning Chinese. A few centuries BC, the great Chinese philosopher Mencius said, Qin qin ren ye, jing zhang yi ye, wu ta da zhi tian xia ye, which means, to love one's parents is benevolence, and to respect one's elder brother is righteousness. Only these two virtues, benevolence and righteousness, are universal virtues. Hi again, 大家好, welcome back on BON. You're watching Tricks for Learning Chinese. 您正在收看的是每日汉语节教. In today's program, as promised, we're going to learn a new expression in Chinese. How to say, what do you study? Do you study Chinese? Or do you study English? And so on. Or French? So, what do you study? That's what we're going to see today in the program. So please take a seat, get a pen and a piece of paper. You're going to start looking at those tricks. Before starting, of course, as usual, let's welcome our new viewers. Those who are watching this program for the first time, you're all welcome. And it's going to be easy for you to just join up. I'll give you the key to get inside Chinese language. For this, you just need to know the basic four tones. That's your own password to get inside and understand everything. The four tones in Chinese are ma, 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 ma. Just four short pieces of music. Ah, 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 ah. You should get it because everything you pronounce in Chinese should be pronounced with the tones. If you use the right tone, you say the right word, people understand. If you, if you misuse the tone, people will not understand what you're saying. So get the four tones right. Ma, 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 ma. We saw that in Chinese, to say hello to somebody, uh, you have to get the tones right. You say, ni hao, ni hao, very simple, ni hao, but you cannot change it to something like ni hao, that means something else. Hello, you should be, it should be said, ni hao, hey, ni hao. And how about something like, how are you, ni hao ma, be careful, ni hao ma, if you say, Ni hao ma, ni hao ma means something else. It means your number. But how are you is ni hao ma. Hey, ni hao, ni hao ma. How are you? Are you fine? Ni hao ma. The tone, the musicality is like la la la. Ni hao. Ni hao. You 最近好吗？我很好。谢谢。哎，对了，你的号码是？我的，啊，我的号码是幺三六九幺五五。And today we're gonna see how to ask somebody. 你学习什么 ？Like, what do you study? I study Chinese, or I study English, or I study French. 你在学习什么？啊，我在学习汉语。你在学习什么？学习英语。That's what often happens between foreign students in Beijing or in China in general. You have many foreign students who are together and who practice their Chinese, asking to each other, "What do you study? What are you majoring in? Do you study English or Chinese or French or whatever?" So, 你学习什么？你学习什么 ？What do you study? 你在学习什么？啊，我在学习汉语。And people will reply something like. 我学习汉语 ，I'm studying Chinese. 我学习汉语。Let's write it on the board to make it clear. 你学习什么 ？It's a question. What do you study? What are you studying? 你学习什么 ？We remember. First, let me write it for you in phonetics. 
That's the way to read this. You see? Ni means you. Xueshi means study. To study something. Shama means what? Shama. So what are the tones here? You can write the tone marks at home. Try to do it. Only the tone marks, nothing else. Just the tone marks. When you hear this sentence, Ni Xueshi Shama. Ni Xueshi Shama. Remember our basic four tones. Here they are. A, 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 A. Everything you say in Chinese goes through these four tones. Ni Xueshi Shama. Let's put it together. And you can check your answers. Ni Xue, you see? A, 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 like Xue. Xi, Xue, Xi. And this actually is it is also a toneless syllable. So that's it. Ni What do you study? And you could reply something like Wo Han Yu. Wo Han Yu. Here we go. Wo Han Yu. I'm studying Chinese. You can try to repeat that. So, how to write it in phonetics? Here we go. Once again, we are using our four basic tones that we know. The four basic tones. Ah, 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 as we said. Here they are. Wo Xue Xi Han Yu Wo Xue Xi Han Yu So in this sentence Wo Xue Xi Han Yu you can separate the word Han Yu means Chinese Chinese language Han Yu and Xue Xi means study Xue xi, study. Wo means I. Wo xue xi han yu. I'm studying Chinese. So you can ask the person, Ni na? Wo xue xi han yu. Ni na? I'm studying Chinese. What about you? Wo xue xi fa yu. Like, I'm studying French. Wo xue xi fa yu. Let's make it a, like a short conversation between two foreign students who meet each other in the compound and start to discuss. Hey, ni hao. Ni hao. Ni xue xi shen ma? Wo xue xi han yu. Oh, han yu nan ma? Han yu bu tai nan. Very simple conversation. What does it mean actually? It means, hello, hello. What do you study? I'm studying Chinese. Is Chinese difficult? Not so much. That's it. Very simple. Chinese is not difficult at all. There's just one key to get in. If you don't get a key, you're not getting. But if you get it, you're in. The key is simple. Just four tones. Four simple tones. Ma, 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 ma. You get used to those sounds, those four, those four sounds, and you get everything. Easy. Ni xue xi han yu ma. You see how it's turning. Ni xue xi han yu ma. It's turning. You have to turn that way too. Han yu nan ma. Is Chinese difficult? Hai yu nan ma? But hai nan. Not so difficult. From now on, you can practice with your friends or even alone at home. You can try to practice this short sentence in which you can replace the word hai yu, that means Chinese. You can replace it with other languages like French, English, German, or whatever. Just, just know that French in Chinese, you call it fai yu. Fai yu. What about English? Ying Yu. So try to practice this and repeat that sentence over and over to make it to get especially to get used to the melody, the right tones. And that will make Chinese language become easier and easier. Mm -hmm. 
You know, when I just came to China like five years ago, my Chinese vocabulary, of course, was very, very limited. And uh, with other foreign students, we used to practice together with the help of Chinese students. One day, we were supposed to go to a theater to watch a show. So the Chinese friend told us to take a taxi and meet him at the entrance of the theater. We were supposed to call him on the phone and let him talk to the driver, to the taxi driver, to tell him where he's supposed to take us to. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we wanted to practice our Chinese, so we said, okay, just tell us the name of the place. We'll not need to call for you, to call you. We'll say it ourselves to the driver. So he said, Sho Du Chi Chang. And we understood. We said, okay, we just tell the driver, Sho Du Chi Chang. And that's it. It seems easy, just four syllables. I took the taxi alone, and uh, after half an hour, I was still not yet at the destination. So my friend called me to say, well, Francis, hurry up. The movie is about, to, the show is about to start. I said, well, I don't know where we are, but we are on the way. It's going to be fine. So my friend asked, can you put the driver on? So I, I will see how, how far you are from the theater. And he got the driver, and the driver said, well, we are crossing the toll gate right now. We're going to reach the airport soon. My friend asked, what? Which airport? Where are you going? And the driver said, well, your friend said he was going to Shodu Chi Chang. Can you feel the difference between Shodu Chi Chang and Shodu Chi Chang? You see, they sound alike, but they mean two different things. I was about to be taken to the airport when I was supposed to be taken to the, to the National Theater or to the Capital Theater. In Chinese, capital is Shodu. Chi Chang means the airport, and Chi Chang means the theater. Instead of Shou Du Chi Chang, I said Shou Du Chi Chang. You see how close it is. That's why the tones are very important. You have Chi Chang and Chi Chang. Those are two different places. So Shou Du Chi Chang means capital airport. Chi Chang. And Shou Du Chi Chang means the capital theater. These are the kind of things you need to be careful about. That's all. And nothing else. Well, tomorrow we'll see more simple and useful expressions so that you can use them in your daily life when dealing with Chinese people, with Chinese friends, without any complex. Hello, now we're going to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Let's see you in the next time at the Lanhai Television. Well, fellow viewers, let's make it again tomorrow on BON same time. My name is Francis Chige. Thanks very much for watching. Mingtian Jian. See you tomorrow. We can share more tips and tricks about learning Chinese. A few centuries BC, the great Chinese philosopher Mencius said, Qin Qin Ren Ye, Jing Zhang Yi Ye, Wu Ta. Bonjour, chers amis, vous êtes sur BON, la bonne chaîne. Hi, fellow viewers, you're watching BON. Welcome to share my daily tricks for learning Chinese. Huan Yin Shoukan, Mei Ru Han Yu Jie Chiao. My name is Francis Chige, and it's good to have you there today. So, Da Zhi Tian Xia Ye, which means to love one's parents is benevolence, and to respect one's elder brother is righteousness. Only these two virtues, benevolence and righteousness, are universal virtues.
Hi again, 大家好 ，Welcome back on B O N. You're watching Tricks for Learning Chinese. 您正在收看的是每日汉语诀窍。In today's program, as promised, we're going to learn a new expression in Chinese. How to say, "What do you study? Do you study Chinese, or do you study English, and so on, or French?" So, what do you study? That's what we're going to see today in the program. So please take a seat, get a pen and a piece of paper. You're going to start looking at those tricks.